somewhere on some distant green open field. Two armies prepare to march on one another. One army is met is led by Thonga of the Peacekeepers clan. And the second army is led by Mag Elkhound of the OTD clan. Now, the army of Thonga consists of six units of regular slingers. Four, six units? No. Four units of regular slingers. Four units of Balearic slingers. Six units of sacred band hoplites. Two units of long shield cav. And two units of Numidian mercenary javelin cavalry. The OTD player, Elkhound, has six archers, four bronze shields, five Cappadocians, and two scythe chariots. He flees before the wrath of my mighty slingers as I try to rush my guys up within range. So I simply move my guys up in an orderly fashion. Um, with my regular slingers acting as a skirmish screen, uh, initial volley of slingshots killed a couple of Cappadocians and Von Shoot pikemen, and so Elkhound has brought no light cavalry whatsoever, so I'm gonna use my Numidian Jav Cav to harass his heavily armored, slow, ponderous, fat Cappadocians. Um, I have no heavy cavalry of my own, so I'm gonna have to rely on the brute force of my Sacred Band Hoplites and the flexibility and maneuverability of my light cav. Now Elkhound has put his slingers in front of his bronze shield pikeman line and he's opening fire on my regular slingers. My regular slingers attack are uh, taking some casualties but because his guys are out in the open there is no infantry screen in front of them to protect them from the low firing arc of slingshot and therefore they are taking uh, many casualties. Also I outnumber them uh, with my Slingers, I have 8 slinger units opposed to 6 archer units. My opponent has no chariot archers, which is one of Pontus's main strengths, but I guess he's gonna rely on a heavy cavalry arm to carry the day for him while, he's, while his bond shoes fix my sacred band in place. So I have killed a couple of his Cappadocians with my Numidian Javcav, there you can see them. Uh, a couple of those are from slingshots as well as they wandered within range of my guys. I'm pushing up my guys even further. And now his Cappadocians are in range of my Slingers, they took some fire and now they are gonna retreat further back behind their own lines while his Slingers and while my Slingers unload on his guys. So nothing much is happening, we're just skirmishing and jockeying for position on this green bland landscape and he makes a rush for my uh, Numidians over here on my left, his right, but his chariots cannot hope to catch my Numidian Javcav, which is all good and well because now he's coming within range of my guys. Uh, and I almost catch his chariots with my guys. I succeed in killing one chariot and now my slingers are opening fire on his dudes. He tried to make a rush for my slingers, although as soon as they touched my slingers, they ran away. And he's gonna make a rush for my uh, Numidian mercenaries over here. My guys uh, somehow get caught, but I have a phalanx nearby, and uh, yes, I catch his guys in my phalanx and send this chariot unit packing. So now my opponent's uh, Elkhound's archer force is quite badly damaged. My Bellerics are still very much intact, and I still have quite a number of regular slingers left. And he has lost his scythe chariots as well, so. Now all I have to do is use my infantry to bash his infantry line apart and shoot him to death and this battle will, will be mine provided I don't do anything stupid. So my slingers are just popping shots off as, at his guys. Pew pew pew. Go slingers. And his Cappadocians are gonna uh, swing to my right. Um, my Numidians are all the while tossing javelins at them. Or, or they could be out of ammo. So anyway, he swings his guys around here. Some of my slingers got a bit ahead of themselves and they're gonna get smashed by these guys, but oh well, that's their fault for their stupidity. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna charge, get my sacred ban and long shoes, catch his guys. I managed to snag his general with my Numidians and I wasn't looking at this part of the battlefield and then I realized he was charging through my front line. My sacred ban uh, form in the phalanx rapidly and manage to sort of snag this unit as well, but my slingers are getting horribly smashed apart. You know, this is a big crazy brawl here. 
I foolishly let my light cavalry get into a bog down uh, slugfest with his guy. And even with sacred band support, his uh, my guys are taking a real beating. So my infantry lines are getting scattered everywhere. My slingers are getting run down by his heavy cav. Um, I didn't kill all that many of his guys, uh, and I've lost all of my light cav. And elk hounds infantry is advancing on my disorganized ranks. So with my cavalry gone and my slingers in disarray, I'm gonna have to rapidly reform my sacred band line. I form a double line. Uh, with my general, uh, that's my general unit, uh, over here, for some reason the band is stuck there. With four units in front, led by my general, and two units in the rear, to form a rear guard against the Cappadocians who are chasing down my guys. So, uh, I, more micro mistakes on my part, I charge my guys in, instead of putting them in phalanx formation. Uh, but fortunately for me, uh, my sacred band are tough enough, and they, uh, start bashing apart his, uh, his bond shoot pikes. Uh, his guys are on a thin line, and even on the best of days, Bond Shoot Pikes don't stand a chance against uh, Sacred Band Hoplites. Yep, so my guys are just plowing into his guy. Uh, Elk Hound has his Cappadocians coming back to try to rescue his beleaguered infantry line. I'm gonna turn my pikes around to face him, although he. It's a simple effort to simply swing his guys around. I really should have had these guys positioned closer behind my front line but fortunately for me my sacred banner are, are in thick ranks having your pikes in thick ranks will allow them to resist cavalry charges better which is what happened here he charged into the rear of my guys I managed to turn a lot of my guys around in time and even those who didn't were, were in ranks sufficiently deep to repel the cavalry assault and bond shields were uh, bashed apart enough that the hammer and anvil strike was weak and ineffective, so my sacred band managed to withstand a rear cavalry strike, which is all good and well. So anyway, my sacred band managed to rout the enemy general and cut down hundreds of these bond shoot pikes. Uh, there's one more unit of Cappadocians coming here, and I have uh, my uh, Numidians coming from behind, and I'm gonna run these guys down before they have a chance to regroup. Now Elk Hound, he knows it's over, so he's gonna front toe charge his guys into the front of my Sacred Band Hoplites. Um, I don't think anything can survive charging in the Sacred Band uh, formations this deep from the front, and that's my general, heroically leading his men to victory. And this is what is left of my heroic and Balearic Slingers. Uh, my Slingers really uh, got the short end of the stick for my poor micromanagement skills and were absolutely massacred because of my inability to see every aspect of the battle. Regardless, I'm glad I had my Sacred Pan Hoplites who managed to carry the day for me. Even if I foolishly threw away my Light Cab and Slingers who had given me such a decisive edge in the early stages of the battle. Now these Bond Shields are going mano to mano with my Sacred Band Hoplites and they're getting cut down as expected. And Elk Hound is just throwing more of his Cappadocians in. He knows it's over. He's doing what a good general would do in this situation, which is to fall on his sword. So his Cappadocians are sent running. His few archers um, don't stand a chance. And I have all four of my Balearic units are still alive and well, if a bit depleted. So his archers are all pretty much destroyed from. Uh, were destroyed by my Slingers. Yeah, this battle is a bit closer than I would have liked, but anyway, uh, what can you do? I hadn't played in about 3 months, and, and this was my first game back in a very, very, very long time. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh.